E.L. Cord produced the first successful front-wheel drive American production car, the L29, in 1929. Based on the racing designs of Harry Miller and Cornelius Van Rance, the L29 was sleek, low, and unlike anything else on the road in 1929. To save money, Cord adapted the existing 298 cubic inch, 125 horsepower straight eight engine from the Auburn cars that he also manufactured and linked it to the front wheel drive transmission. The unit was shifted manually with a rod that extended through the dashboard and forward to the front of the engine where it engaged the unit that transferred the power to the front wheels. It was a simple yet revolutionary design. This particular car was purchased as a bare chassis, without the body, by a wealthy stockbroker and automobile enthusiast, Henry McVicker of New York. When the chassis arrived, McVicker had the body removed from his 1927 Minerva town car and placed on the cord chassis. The body, which had been custom built by Dietrin Frères of Brussels, Belgium, fit the cord beautifully. Designed to be chauffeur driven, town cars feature an open driver's compartment with a snap-on fabric roof. The rear passenger compartment is fully enclosed and luxuriously appointed in fine wool upholstery and inlaid hardwood. The car was completed in December of 1929, just a few weeks after the stock market crash. No doubt, not wanting to appear ostentatious in the face of the Great Depression, the car was sparingly used during McVicker's ownership. He parted with the Cord in 1940, and it only had three subsequent owners until 2013. At that time, this amazingly preserved original car was acquired by noted collector and Classic Car Club of America member Mark Hyman, who generously donated this car to the CCCA Museum. Today, the Cord remains a true time capsule, with just over 25,000 miles showing on the odometer. The paint, trim, and upholstery are just as they were in 1929. There's a favorite expression used by car collectors, they're only original once. Today, with so few original cars remaining, collectors and restorers are drawn to them to see and understand how these pieces of art were originally created and appreciate the rarity of how they've survived like this cord, practically untouched for nearly a century.